G'day and welcome back to the Project 200 video series. You might remember me installing a set of fire lights onto the 200 in a previous video. Well after Paul from Firelight saw that video, he offered me a freebie set of their new Nemesis lights. And who am I to say no to that? So today I'll be doing a quick video showing the installation of these new lights. Although they look very similar to the standard fire lights, the Nemesis are almost twice as bright and use 24 volt 250 watt globes powered through step up transformers. So the installation is a little different. If you'd like to see how the Nemesis lights perform, then check out my other video which compares them to the standard fire lights and also a set of Lightforce 215 LEDs. To install the Nemesis lights, begin by removing the battery on the driver's side, which will make it easier to install the step up transformers and run the wiring. Remove the earth cable first, then remove and tape up the positive leads as you remove them, to prevent shorts. You can then mount the two supplied transformers to an L-shaped steel or aluminium plate, which will be mounted between the right side battery and the headlight. Because of their high current draw and individual transformers for each light, the best way to wire the Nemesis is to give each light its own fully independent circuit. Begin by soldering each of the supplied light plug leads onto some heavy 10 gauge or 5mm squared twin core cable. Run this cable back to the transformers and connect each light to the output side of a transformer. Then run two more 10 gauge twin cables from the input sides of the transformers to your relay location. Ensuring that it's well secured to prevent shorts. Next, tap into the cruiser's high beam wire at the back of the headlight using light duty cable and run the other end through the firewall to the dash switch. There's a huge variety of dash switches available, which now include some that look like the factory 200 series switches. But for consistency with previous installs, I'm using a carling switch from mudstuff.co.uk. They fit into the cruiser's blank slots with some minor modifications. Connect the wire you've run from high beam to the power in terminal of your switch. Then run another light duty cable from the switch's power out terminal through the firewall to your relay location. Next, run two 10 gauge cables with maxi blade fuse holders from the positive terminal of your battery to your relay location. But don't install any fuses yet. I'm mounting twin 40 amp Nava relays into stackable relay blocks mounted to an existing bolt behind the airbox. Wire each of the relays as follows. Pin 30 is power in from the battery. Pin 87 is power out to the lights via the transformers. Pin 86 goes to earth. And pin 85 is the trip wire coming from the dash switch, which you can loop to each relay. You can then refit the battery into place, using it to hold the transformer mounting plate in position, and install the fuses into the fuse holders. With the wiring complete, it's time to mount the fire lights to the bull bar. Begin by securing the aluminium base firmly, but not so firmly that the lights can't be adjusted. You can then mount the lights themselves to the bases using the provided allen key bolts. Again, ensure they're firm but still allowing for some adjustment. With the wiring and mounting complete, head out to a quiet straight road and properly adjust the aim of the fire lights. You can then fully tighten all the mounting bolts. I hope you enjoyed the installation of the Firelight Nemesis into the 200. Don't forget to check out the comparison video between these, the standard firelights and the Lightforce LED 215s as well. As usual, there's plenty more information and photos of the install on the Project 200 website. See you next time.